Okay, before we start our reading, let's uh, cleanse our sacred space. Um, and let's go ahead and light up uh, Nokami incense. So you don't need the candle uh, to light it up, you just need to light it up with a match. Very easy to light. And there you go. Just turn it upwards. Okay. And there you go. It's as easy as that. Okay. We're going to put that here. Right next to Ganapati. Okay, so uh, this will cleanse our space and uh, we can start our reading. Hello, Capricorn, welcome to Samurai Tarot. We'll be doing your March 2022 reading. I hope you're doing well. We'll be doing your life, love, and career. So let's start your reading. Okay, so uh, Spirit, what do we have for the Collective of Capricorn for the month of March? Messages for a love, life, and career. Sorry, life, love, and career. Oof. What's this? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Okay, you have the Empress. I'm gonna take these three because it fell. Okay, you have the Empress sitting in your power. Abundant. Okay. Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Lovers. Okay. Judgment. Knight of Cups, Hermit. Star, Five of Cups, Eight of Cups. Hmm, almost the same as, no, not the same. Um, but the last two cards came out like just like Taurus. Okay. Ooh, justice. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. <laughs> Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. There's a lot about, there's some noise outside. So let's start with the Empress. Here you are, sitting in your power, abundant, and um, yeah, you got it all. You're intuitive, you're abundant. Okay. And your first card, what it first spread, let me just get. Okay. All right. So, your general spread, your life reading. You're cutting people off, okay? You're no longer dealing with BS. And you're very compassionate, but you're not going to tolerate things anymore. And you've been trying to contemplate and assess your situation and seeing... Uh, looking at your investments and what what you've uh, put your energy so far okay so after which you will make a decision uh, with the lovers here so you're gonna be making a life-changing decision okay okay with this life-changing decision okay 
you have judgment the archangel gabriel so somebody is going to be returning okay Okay, it could be, and you will receive a message. It would be uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay. A soulmate. And you're going to choose yourself. You're going to be by yourself. And you're going to uh, contemplate and think about. Okay. Try to gain enlightenment about the situation. Okay. Now, this, would, this could also mean that some of you, okay, you're dealing with a Scorpio or a Virgo or a Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Okay. And you're going to make an offer to a Virgo. Okay. But bear in mind, um, whoever this person is, uh, it's a knight. So it's temporary. It's just going to be passing. Okay. So it could be a water sign. Okay. All right. But you're going to, in the end, you're going to choose yourself. Because uh, Virgo is a uh, Virgo is a single card. It's hard to pick up the card. Anyway, Virgo is a single card, and with the lovers here, you're making a decision to find what makes you happy. Okay. Okay. You're going to make a decision to find what, what makes you happy. Because uh, this hermit is this person. Okay, see the staff? Okay, you will gain enlightenment. Okay, so by the end of the month, you'll be uh, gaining enlightenment about your love situation. And you're making a decision to choose love. So you're going to love yourself. Hence, by loving yourself, you become the empress. Okay. Okay, you become the empress. Okay, now career. You are being recognized. Okay. You're being recognized. You're in the public eye. You're being recognized. But for some reason, you're sad. And I'm betting this is connected to your relationship. Okay, something is making you sad. But the reason why you're sad is because you're getting three of cups instead of two of cups. Okay. And now it becomes an eight of cups. So there's missing two of cups. With the three of cups filled, um, you're no longer happy with your current financial situation. So so you want to be recognized, okay? You want something bigger. So this is you. Um, we're talking about finance here. So you're not fulfilled with your current work or your current job or your project or your business. You're going to leave and find something because you're a star. You're highly intuitive. You're highly talented. You're highly gifted. Okay, Capricorn. Okay. So, you you will realize that. And because of that realization, okay, you will realize that. And because you realize that, you're cutting off what no longer serves you. You're making a judgment call. To be in your star player, okay. To be in to be who you are, which is a very talented person, and you're being recognized by your peers, by your community, by your workmates, by your by the public. You know, 
even people you don't know. Okay? Recognize your talents. Now, again, um, with the justice here, this is talking about karma. Okay, so karma is playing out in your dynamics. So destiny. Okay, with a judgment here, you might be, you might, um, okay, so, and the star card and the empress. So you're choosing yourself, choosing your destiny. You're destined for great things, not these small things, not small stuff. You're destined for greatness. And with the star and the justice, you're going to overcome your karma. Okay? Maybe a generational curse or a, maybe a generational karma. You're going to overcome that by being the first in your family, in the first in the family dynamic, to be recognized and bring honor to your family name. Okay? Okay, so whatever situation that you're in, you're going to be choosing uh, a path wherein you will be emotionally fulfilled. Because a lot of, because what I'm seeing here with the, um, okay, there's a life choice. There's a life choice choosing to, okay, to find, okay, so here. We have the, you're choosing, would you rather be a knight, so small, or would you rather be a star? But here, you're choosing yourself. You're going to find your star, your inner star. You're going to recognize that, and then you're going to leave. Why? Because you're sad and disappointed with what you're getting, which is just a knight. You want a king? No. You want... An empress wants an emperor. So you're on your way. You're deciding this month of March. You're having a realization to decide to be take on much bigger responsibility. Take on the big world. Okay. And the angels are helping you recognize that. With the judgment and the justice. So... There's going to be balance restored in your uh, life. And, okay, by the end of March, you're going to be the Empress. Very good cards. You're going to cut off small talk, leave it, and leave that all behind. Okay. Now, for some of you, be very, very careful because... Um, when you leave to find fulfillment, okay, don't dwell on, on the past. Move forward. That's what is being asked of you. Move forward. Okay. All right. So the message is very clear. Okay, let's get some guidance. Okay, the story is very clear. You're going to make a life-changing decision. Okay. Oh, I'm very thankful that the energies here is is very very uh, uh, enlightening because uh, the last read that I had for Taurus, wow, heavy. Your energy came out there. Uh, there's you might want to watch it because there's a uh, no no don't watch it because <laughs> I think Taurus is dealing with a lot of heavy energies. Um, it's got nothing to do with you. Okay, well I don't know. Maybe a small percentage of you will be involved in some Taurus activity of obsession. God forbid. What's that? Hmm. Okay, just checking my lucky bamboo. Let's see, all right. Okay, messages, please, spirit. 
Okay, that. Hold your vision. What did I say? You have bigger things. Hold your vision. So, if you're planning something big, okay, for yourself, go for it. If it's a business, go for it. If it's a new job, go for it. You're very close to achieving your goal. So, whatever you're working on, it's going to be very, very rewarding and fruitful. It will bring you a lot of abundance. Okay. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Okay, so you might be dealing with an Aries. Now, if you're... Um, so, there's this, this is very destined. So, there's some karmic thing that's going to be resolved here. You might be dealing with the legal situation as well. Involving contracts and stuff. So, that might be a, a factor. So, surrender to the divine, full moon. Okay, so definitely something is manifesting here. Okay, something that you uh, something that you manifest. Uh, you're you're, in, you're highly intuitive, so I'm not surprised. But the divine is asking you to surrender some more. You know. Okay, um, you might need to cut off a lot more people than you you thought you would need to cut off. Okay, but that will be revealed to you through the hermit. Okay. I recognize that I've chosen fear and I choose, again, I choose love. I'm the loving energy of the universe. Oh, beautiful. Okay. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Wow. Okay. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with new eyes of love. Alright. So let's put some clear quartz over there. So you're gaining some clarity. Okay, You're gaining some clarity over the situation that you're in. And with that, with that uh, change in perspective, you're able to be empowered to you're empowered to make the necessary changes to make your to make you happy okay all right so i'm going to leave it at that well i'll congratulate you in advance for this uh um for your enlightenment and wish you good luck thank you for watching samurai tarot capricorn mm -hmm.